We move away from that now to talk agricultural sector, another key sector that has attracted so much investment and attention from the federal government since Nigerian independence in 1960, but yet not really, uh, uh, I mean, I mean, uh, uh, achieving what um, the desired result rather that it is meant to achieve. You look at uh, the sector there, we we'll, we'll, we'll look at it uh, from uh, the, since uh, some of the policies that were actually introduced to boost agricultural sector in, since 1963, you look at the like of Agricultural Extension and Research Large Office that was established in 1963 and of course the International Institute of Agri culture as well also they established in 1967 uh, and of course the international livestock uh, for africa also established there as well we have some farm settlement scheme national accelerated food, uh, accelerated food production program 1970 operation feed the nation of a very famous ofn by the former uh, uh, head of state at the time olushego basanjo and of course uh, if you can go on and on and on it's quite uh, a whole lot of uh, issues there, uh, uh, programs there in that sector. Very quickly, my guest, uh, Dr. Joseph Ogbo Douglas, is the president of All Farmers Progressive Association. He joins me via phone from here in Abuja. Good morning, Dr. Joseph. Morning, my brother. Yes, good to hear from you. I understand you were meant to be in the studio, but for some challenges, we are unable to make it. But it's okay, we can talk to you via phone from here. Uh, let's look at the agricultural sector. So many interventions program has been introduced by various governments, but yet the, the desired result has not yet really been achieved. What do you think is the problem of this sector? Yes, uh, good morning, everybody, and uh, good morning, listeners. I think basically the problem is misdirection of uh, of uh, ideas. The purpose of government was not directed or channeled to the right people. I always said it. The, the, the players in the field are not dancing to the ideas and tunes of government. So that is where the problem of not achieving the result comes from until we are able to address this by engaging in farmers like us in all farmers progressive association we are set to distribute over 100 tons of input in the next two weeks this is supposed to be the duty of the government but government has shied away from it and then we take it upon ourselves to make sure we do it for ourselves. The input we are sharing is equivalent to 118,000 per hectare. And when farmers go to the field and in this, definitely there is going to be a massive result. So the challenge we are having is that no government is ready to assist farmers. So what they have done before, why they were discouraged is because it went to wrong hands. The, 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 the political farmers will normally address them. I just the whole system. And there was nothing to write him about. I think that is the basic problem. So if the new administration is coming in now, they have to take cognizance of the past so that they don't allow this thing to repeat itself any longer. We are here. We have the land. We have the equipment. Little one we can have. We have the input. We have the farmers from ground. And if this is a channel to them, why can't they perform? Hello, hello so Dr. Reason, Joseph. If, is the, is the Dr. Joseph, if you can hear me, uh, you, me you have I'm mentioned really quite a whole lot of issues there. Uh, that is a challenge, mm -hmm. that one of the, as one of, some of the challenges facing farmers in Nigeria. You are the president of farmers. Mm -hmm. I usually call you uh, president of Nigerian farmers. Uh, tell us, yeah. what do you think the incoming government should do? If you look at it, when the, the, the current government, the outgoing government rather, when they came in in 2015, Ankov's borrower uh, program was actually introduced. And that uh, program empowered about 4.8 million farmers. So much money was disbursed to them. Do you think this program has been a success or that you want this uh, incoming government to continue or you want them to introduce a new program? A result of a program, always they want to know whether the program is successful or not. 
you will get it from the, the results. Tell me, is there anything to show in Nigeria today that government has empowered farmers up to that level? Before the, the outgoing government of President Goodluck Jonathan, they did not empower farmers to this extent. They don't. Yet, we were buying a bag of rice for uh, uh, 7,000. We are buying a, 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 a model of uh, beans for 150, 150 naira. We are buying just the, the, the inflation rate was so low. Yes, they did not empower any farmers. But this one that said they have a power farmer. Yes, we are buying a bag of rice for the same thing to be. Food cannot ever be rich by the common man in this country. So the research does not show or cannot be commensal with what they say they are doing. So that is basically they have got the wrong hand. I am advising the new government to come and in, engage real farmer like us. We have to be in the food policy making, policy implementation, policy execution, so that nobody can do it better for you than yourself. If we are there, we are bound to make it, and we will turn the situation around. And the evidence will prove to all and give that yes, farmers are on rampant for development. We must change the narrative. If the new government will pay attention to us, we have all what it takes to make sure we bring agriculture to alumni and to make sure we reduce 75% of Nigerian total level costs and also food security. Is going to be uh, uh, Dr. Joseph, uh, like you said, yes. you wanted the new government to pay attention to you. How much of effort are you making to get their attention as well? Very good. During the campaign, we mobilize farmers all over the country to come and endorse them in a program where we launch 200 brand new tractors by all farmers progressing. It was the vice president, uh, I mean the vice president elect, who represent the president elect, Bola Ahmed Chilibu, to come and commission those tractors in order to mobilize both uh, for the OTC government. Now that we have tried our best and they are winning, it is left for them to realize that farmers have played their role. So as I do, Bola Ahmed even went further to create a directorate for agriculture. But most of the people that are engaged in that directorate, even where I am the assistant director, I can tell you half of them are not even real farmers. They have no land. They have nothing to prefer to. Like I'm telling you now, outside of government, we are marching forward. We have some uh, implements on ground which we are using for this cropping season. We have enough input for all farmers in Nigeria. We must produce with a partnership agreement from the manufacturers. This is what we are doing. So I b believe in you, if the government can pay attention to us, we have already showcased enough things for them to know that we are on ground. Mm. So for it, us to launch and invite them, they know that an organization needs exists well. Mm. And if they encourage us and empower us and come to our support, I assure you, we are going to make it. And in, then they will see the result. Interesting submission there. You, you are act Dr. Joseph, you are actually saying that uh, the credits, rather, uh, or um, the, the real farmers are not really, really being uh, uh, given due attention. That is in line with uh, the IMF uh, also submission that credit uh, allocation doesn't really get to the real uh, farmers. Now, the government, a new government is coming in. You have identified problems. Now, let's look at solution. What do you want them to do? Like uh, real farmers not getting access to credit. How can the real farmers be identified in our environment where, like you said, there are so many political farmers? Very good. The easy way to identify real farmers is to come to us who have already gotten the structures right from federal, state, and local government. We are present in 774 with all our executive on ground 
we have acquired a good number of land, up to eight or something million hectares, all over the country, by our structures. And if government can draw us into the policy formulation, we are also there in the policy implementation. We are also there in the policy execution. I assure the government that they are going to make it in such a way that many people will retire from civil servants to join us in the farming sector. Because that is where money is, in a real sense of things. You will get money in your pocket, you will eat well. So government should come to us and involve us deeply in the administration policy of the government. They Doctor, should involve us. Dr. Joseph Douglas, President, All Farmers Progressive mm. Association, a passionate farmer you are. I must thank you for your submission on the program, and I hope that the incom incoming government will listen to you and, of course, take some of the points that you have raised to improve the life and livelihood of farmers in Nigeria. And, of course, to, uh, I mean, that will also help to boost the uh, food security in the country. Thank you so much for joining us on Business Daily this morning. Well, and with that, it's a wrap on Business Daily today. Join us again tomorrow for more. I am Yusuf Akogu.